Hey everyone, um, I was working with a couple members of the literature, English language arts department today, and uh, we came across a fairly interesting challenge um, that I wanted to share out regarding Google Forms. So Google Forms is a great tool that can be used to create really quick formative assessments, um, self-grading quizzes, um, but there are a couple things you need to know about it. And mostly they have to do with vocabulary. So right here I have this very simple vocabulary quiz set up. And the idea would be here's the definition and here are the possible words. Now on a MacBook you have this great little feature which allows you to highlight, right click, and look up a word. And this is really easy. It's a really easy way to figure out the definition of this word. Um, and it just it's too good of a thing for a student not to just be tempted to do. And so we were trying to think of a way to take this and remove that functionality, but at the same time allow them to keep lookup active so that if they wanted to look up a word in the question, they would have the ability to use that as a scaffold because maybe you need to look up what this means so that you can find the correct definition. So we were like really scratching our heads, how can we do this? So here's what we came up with. A couple of possibilities. First one is that if you space out all the letters and then you try to do it, it won't work. Or it'll send something that's completely unrelated to the word. It won't send you to the correct definition right away. So that was one option we found, which is just putting all of the letters in and then spacing them out. Another one that we thought of that also works is if you break it up um, and show it in a, in a broken up syllable form. So for example, capitalize here, if I try to look that up, you're not going to find it because it's it, it can't be looked up because of the, uh, the dashes in between it. Now, and that doesn't work for all words though because like for example, failure, yeah, I can't look up failure but if the syllable happens to be breaking up a root, I can look up the root and I might get a clue. So in this case, that might not be the best guess unless you don't care if they're looking up the meanings of roots, so that might be a better one. Then the last idea we came up with was this, which is kind of a hybridized model where instead of having the answers down here, you have just letters. And then up on the board, or handed out separately on a half sheet of paper, you have A equals failure, B equals capitalized, C equals whatever. And that way, they can't look up the answer. They just have to see like, well, A equals failure, and that's what I think it is. And so that was kind of another workaround we had. So we had three workarounds to this uh, pretty crafty little uh, cheat, and hopefully that'll work out for you in when you're making your Google um, quizzes.